in bogey dump. It's like a whole world underground. You plunder everything. Oh, thank darkness. You found her. I'm getting out of here. What? 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 You... What? What? Oh, no. No, no, please, 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 don't, please, Dad, please. be careful. You touch me, I know. Please don't shout, otherwise you'll get us all into trouble. We mustn't let her escape, and we can't let anyone know that she's here. You saw a dry cleaner in their house? Yes. Who's that? It's the police. <gasps> What's going on? Dad's lock is in! Is everybody watching? Oh, just get on with it. <laughs> I had noticed. Oh, I feel faint. Thank Boggy for that. I think you've got some explaining to do. It's in there somewhere. Oh. I feel it in my slime. Where is she? Where's Mold? What's happened to them? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. Well, I <laughs> Too relieved to think. I'm just glad I'm not being taken away in handcuffs. She's got him. She's captured them and taken them away. You do realise that it is an offence to waste police time? What? Not to mention slandering your neighbours. I'm a fine upstanding bogey, I am. Never broken a law in my life. Hope I never do. What are you doing? Come on, oh, we've got to get out of here. Letting that disgusting fresh air in. Right, I've had enough of this. Please leave. Oh, what's up then? Oh, no, go. <laughs> but you no. know. Go, go on. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Have you arrested them? For what? For keeping a dry cleaner in the house, you stupid bogey. Septic. Hmm? I don't know why I bother. Ruined a nice, quiet day. Come on this way. Come on this way. Why? B because you don't know where anything is and, and you could get caught and... Please. Trust me. Oh, right, trust you. Seeing as you're the one that got us into this mess in the first place. Barking mad. Completely barking mad. A lot of them. Come on, quick. Keeping a dry cleaner in their house. Preposterous idea. You're the one that <clears throat> saw that pink woolly glove in his bogey bag. I said they were up to something. That was all. I, I saw the dry cleaner. Look, I saw it. You see anything else, young bogey? And you're sleeping in the dry. Now in. Right then, George. What's your game? George White. Forget his own head if it wasn't for me. Good golly. What on earth? And the band's up on stage. And there are these really bright strobe lights. And if you're down the front near the speakers, the music's so loud, it hurts your ears. Amazing. Come on, we've got to keep going. Jessica! Are they dead? Oh no, they'll be asleep. Oh, 
Sometimes bogies just lie in a hole and go to sleep for a whole year. Come on, this way. It's not that exciting up top, you know. It looked exciting to me. That's because you're a tourist. You don't have to hoover your room every Saturday, or floss your teeth, or put up with the most annoying little brother in the Northern Hemisphere, or grow up and go to work for a stupid local newspaper. You don't have to take a bath every day. Every day? Well, every few days anyway. <sighs> so where do they lead to? Um... Well... That one over there, that leads to another part of bogeydom. And that one next to it, that leads to France, which is a long way away from here. And the one over there, well, that leads to near where you live. Except you've got to remember, in the tunnels, there's lots of junctions, and you have to know which one to take. Right. Let's go do some more exploring. Uh, well, as long as you promise not to run, though. I can't find them anywhere. Well, my guess is that Moult has done something really, really brainless. You guess. Just a thought. Hello. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Hello. No. No. <laughs> we were on this rooftop looking at the stars. They were amazing. Made me feel a bit dizzy thinking how far they were away. And, and this lorry came down the road. Had these bright lights on it. Hurt my eyes. But it was exciting too. Dad scared the driver. He was well good. Actually, I quite like the dark. Sometimes late at night, my friend Katie comes into our garden and she throws stones at my window and I slip out of the house and we go for walks together. Mould. What? I just wanted to say... sorry. What for? I like you. <laughs> I like you too. We're not all bad, you know. I know. You will remember that, won't you? Yeah. What, what do you mean, remember? Nothing. I was just... Maybe. Maybe that's why bogeymen go up top to scare dry cleaners. Be because they get bored of being stuck down here all the time. And maybe that's why dry cleaners tell stories about bogeymen. Because they think it's exciting to imagine there's another place. Another world that isn't all, all clean and light and noisy. And that's why it's fun having you here. Showing you everything. Because you think it's exciting. Which makes me think it's exciting too. Like I haven't looked at it before. Not really looked at it. Jessica? House. The farm. Something really stupid. <laughs> Told you. Well, maybe she'll get lost in the tunnels. Uh. Uh. What? I, uh. Did something really stupid? <sighs> Gave her the map. Oh. Oh. I'm not even gonna ask how that happened. Oh. Well, maybe we can catch her before she tells anyone. Get the map back and 
bring her back down again. And if she has told them? Then we'll have to tell the police. Tell the police? They can block up the bogey hole. Either way, we won't get out of the soap by standing here talking about it. Oh. It's too light up there at the moment. We'll have to go first thing. I'll set the alarm. What? Yukis. Oh, uh, yes. I'll come with you. Looks like we're going back up top, young bogey. Okay. What are you doing in here? George White, Rutland Herald. Oh, that rag. Just following up a lead. What, in my barn? Pulling around by my back? Yes, it's probably not. Well, in that case, if you wouldn't mind. Yes, I'm sorry, I didn't want to uh, interrupt your arming. Yeah, well, next time you can ask. Absolutely, well done. Got a good idea, will do. Um, Katie's? No, I, I mean, yes. What, what have you been doing? You're covered in muck. Um, yeah. Listen, I saw one. One of those things that like you saw in the cupboard. It was in the shed and it ran at me like that. And then there was there's something in the house the other night. It was in the kitchen and it, it raided the fridge. And I, I found my Dad, camera and it's what? Can we just drop it for now? Sorry? Mm. Are you okay, love? Yeah, I'm fine. A bit tired, but I'm all right. Oh, well, let's get you home and warm it. I've got a few it's a little bit out of well, you can see Jessica, exactly. please. I can't tell you. I just... I can't tell you. Look, OK, you, you know, you say you've seen some creature in, in the kitchen and, and then you say that you're going camping with Katie and you come back utterly exhausted, covered in mud, and you refuse to say what's going on. I mean, we are not trying to interrogate you, love. We're, we're just really worried. You have to promise not to tell anyone. Well, you never asked. I mean it. This is serious. You have to promise. Well, OK. Yeah? No. Yes, OK, we, we, we promise. Dad was right. There was something in the shed. There was something in the kitchen. And it wasn't an animal. But it wasn't a human. I beg your pardon? I've been underground. I mean, really underground. Hundreds of feet down at the bottom of these... these tunnels. That's where they come from, and they... What's happening? Oh. Ah, uh, um, right, well, we're just having a little chat with your sister, um, on her own, if that's OK. Go on, little soldier. OK? You can watch a little bit of Tilly. But I've already watched television today. Yes, and you well, said... You can watch a bit more, can't you, as long as it's educational. Uh, sharp programme? The sharp programme's scary. Chimpanzees? Uh, okay. And they have shops and houses and and canals and bridges and and television and, and newspaper and radios. Jessica, I, I don't want to upset you by saying that you're lying or anything. You know, even though you've obviously had a very upsetting experience, whatever it was, and you know, well, I, I just perhaps think... we'd better talk about this later. Hmm. I'm so exhausted. Oh, love. Come on, let's get you up to bed, eh? Into the bath, have a nice sleep. Might not have got out, of course. <laughs> Lots of tunnels. Probably got lost. <laughs> but what if she did get out? Might have told the dry cleaners already. 
They might be up there waiting with hoses and soap and guns. Oh, a drowsy numbness pains my sense as if of horrible clean water I had... Fungus. What? Go to sleep. <clears throat> Hello, love. Isn't you got something to eat? I could probably rush you up some scrambled eggs or a ham sandwich or something. No, it's OK. I'll just have some leftovers. Sure. Yep. Oh, not that. It's been there ages. Should throw it out? No, this looks great. You OK, love? Mind your back. Who? Yeah. Yes. Jessica's up. Oh, she's feeling better. I was entirely sure. Uh, sleeping in the day always makes me feel awful. Where are you off to? Mm. Oh, just doing a little story for Patterson. Well, this time. It's nothing to do with that bogey nonsense, is it? No, 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 no. Badgers. Badgers? Friendly nature reserves. They're nocturnal. Could be quite a long night. Ah. I won't wait up then. Ah! Ah! Oh! George! It's okay. There's no one around. Come on. Sorry about this, Dad. Mold. It's my fault. If I hadn't been scared and run off and got lost, we wouldn't be in all this trouble, would we? Yes, but I shouldn't have brought you up top. I know, but Mold. you know... We're in this together, and we'll get out of it together. Katie? You won't even know I'm there, Mr... Uh, Tompkins. Tompkins, right. Yeah. Well, if there's uh, some creature around, I'd best go check the animals. Excellent idea. Uh, you do know that's a listed building, don't you? Is it? Oh, thanks. That's great. Bit of history. Lovely. Hello, Tony. Just calling from my office at the New York Times. How is everything at the Manchester Evening Chronicle? in a barn in the middle of the night. What are you doing wandering around a barn in the middle of the night with a f fork? Katie? Katie? Psst! Jessica! It's us! Me and Dad! What do you want? D don't do anything. Listen! We have to find out whether you've told any other dry cleaners about us. We have to get the map back. Hmm. I couldn't stay down there. I had to escape. Shh, 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 please! I didn't mean don't to... Don't shout! Otherwise we'll... we'll get caught. I haven't told anyone. She could be lying. How do we know you're not lying? Mm. I mean, I told Mum and Dad. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> but it's OK, because they didn't believe me. I'll have to take them back down. 
Now hold on a minute. Right, you go that way. No. Careful. I'm telling the truth. Yeah, but you're a drunk. <gasps> what? Don't let him go back. <laughs> Wait for me. Under my window. <laughs> go. Go. <laughs> Right, we're going to wait till the middle of the night, go in and grab her and get the map back. Look, Dad, I think she's telling the truth. Mold. Dad, wait! Listen. To what? Exactly. If they were after us, there'd be dry cleaners everywhere, wouldn't they? Mops, microphones, floodlights. All right, all right. But what exactly are we going to do about the map? <laughs> you know, I don't think your mother was any keener than me on the thought of spending the next 50 years hiding in a dry cleaner in the house. <laughs> Here, I'm going to tell the police that I've seen some dry cleaners poking around the bogey hole. They'll seal it up then. That'll be it. <laughs> then again, maybe not. What? I think they believed her. Them. Something about a nature reserve. Badges, apparently. Badges? Oh no! Oh no! I'll see you later. What, what are you doing? Good day. Well, it's still my story. This used to be your story, George. Then you assaulted me with a garden tool. Generously sharing the credit with me on this is the least you can do in the circumstances. So, Spill, if it's particularly good, I might let you have some of my hot chocolate. Right, um, you stay here. I'll scare them, they'll run away, and then we'll head for the bogey hole. Okay. Right, let's glue my courage to this sticky place. That's why you need a professional, George. We both work at the same newspaper, Tony. Uh, used to work at the same newspaper, George. See, one silly little mistake, and this story could slip through your fingers. That's why you need someone who's been at the sharp end. George, you need someone who can keep their cool when the going gets tough. You need someone who can go... Grab my leg. Oh, we're, we're gonna have to hide. Has it gone? It's gone. You promised you wouldn't tell anyone. What are you doing here? What? Oh, wait a minute. No, I didn't tell anyone. He, he got the map out we'll of my desk. the most incredible me. thing. Uh, my monster. Creature thing. What about. happened? Oh, we really caught it. What? We? Yeah, but it managed to get away. Where did it go? Oh, I don't know. It just rushed off into the into the darkness somewhere. No. Uh, but George says 
that if they've got to get underground, they have to come back to the barn somewhere. So if we linger here or, or hereabouts, then it, it might just... Is there something you're not telling me about? I hate you. All right, let's just, uh, uh, let's just calm down and look at this rationally. I hate you. Uh, yes, you said. Uh, thanks a bunch. Oh, I'll be back. Jessica, wait. Wait, please, really. I did not lie to you, Jessica. I did not. And I'm sorry, I should have told you what I was doing. I just wanted to get a photograph. Tony was a mistake. He just barged in like he usually does. All right, a photograph. Then everyone will see it and it'll be in the papers and they'll come and dig down underground and kill them all. Or put them in zoos. And it'll be my fault because I told you. Well, I'm, I'm a journalist, Jessica. It's what I do. This will be the biggest story I've ever written in my entire life. I was going to make my name. I could get a job in London. We don't want to go to London. <sighs> we like living here. If you tell everyone where that bogey hole is, you can go to London on your own. But we're staying here. Jessica. I love you, Dad. I love you because you're nice and you're kind and you're funny. Because you don't go around hurting people. But this isn't nice or kind or funny. This is really nasty. Wait, wait, wait. I'm serious. What's more important to you? Me and Mum and Tom, or getting a better job? It's not a choice between... Uh... But it is a choice. Because if this gets into the papers, then people will die. Well, people is a bit of an exaggeration. They have names. They have children. They talk. They have gardens. They read books. They have radios. They have televisions. They have newspapers. And do you know what they say about us? What? that we spend our whole time chopping down forests, or building motorways, or killing one another, or wiping whole species of animal off the face of the earth. And they're pretty much right, aren't they? We are dangerous, which is why we never see them, because they're not. And they know that if we ever, ever found out about them, that would be it. They'd be wiped out, like that. What's that? He was in the back of the car. Because? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail, George. I intend to catch one of these things if it's the last thing I do. And call me squeamish, but if we're going to be manhandling it, I'd rather it was wrapped up. I mean, that thing did not look hygienic. Hold that. Yes, well, I'm sorry to ring so late, really. Uh, um, she's back. Um, yes, so, sorry, thank you very much. So, even I'm going to bed. Jessica, I'm honestly worried. I'm worried sick, Jess. I think you're a really good bogey. You're just trying to make me feel better. No, you brought me up top. It, it was great. And bogeying together. It was the best fun I've ever had. And you never lie. And you never shout at me like Mum. And you don't show off like Gunge. Mold, it's really rancid of you to say those things, but... You're right. About what? About surprises and deodorant and headlights. I mean, it's nice in here, but out there... Yeah, there's nothing like being stuck up top to make you... make you realise how good home is. When I get back down, I'm going to work really hard at school so, so I can become a proper bogey like you. <laughs> well, in which case, we better keep our heads down. Let's get some sleep, eh? OK. <laughs>
and he dived down behind a giant cereal bowl to hide himself from the camera ray cannons. Pew pew! Where's Jessica? She got up and went out. Has she run away to Katie's again? Going to Katie's is not running away. Did she actually say she was going to Katie's? She never tells me anything. Morning. Hello, Dad. Honestly, where have you been? I've been really worried, Boots. Sorry, the uh, badger's got a bit out of hand. Listen, George, don't these badgers. I'll I'm tell you sorry. what about it later, but right now I just need some seriously strong coffee. But he put his head up above the giant cereal bowl to see where they're firing, and a camera cannon hits him in the head. Badoosh! Can't leave it. What if they've been caught? Don't want to waste time sitting around here waiting. Have to do something. Now. But say you tell the police. They have to I wasn't explain. thinking of telling the police. Oh no. You can't. And I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, especially over the past few days. And you know I wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't an emergency. But they're in trouble. I know they are. If you think we're going to help you after you made us look like fools in front of that policeman, oh no! If you make your bed all dry and crispy, well, Santa, if you, you think... have to lie in it. Oh. Now, wait a minute. You're not going to help them. A bogey in need is a bogey indeed. Whatever Fungus might have done. Mm, don't want it being said that we refused help when we were asked. Want it being said that we're generous and kind. Besides, I'm going up top in the morning anyway. Sure it won't take me much out of my way to find them and bring them back down. Thank you, Gunge. I'm very grateful. You'd better be. Mold? Fungus? Are you in there? Mm. You are in there. Listen, I'm really sorry about my dad. It's a long story. Look, I'm going to help you. Mm? I'll come back tonight. I'll do something, I promise. What are you up to, young lady? Nothing. I was just, um, looking at the manure spreader. It's amazing. How does it work? Are you really interested? Yeah. Cranes, combine harvesters, helicopters. I love all that stuff. Well, uh, you run the whole thing from this lever here. And that's uh, fixed up to your PTO shaft. And that'll send your spindle moving around. That'll spread the muck as even as you want. What have you got to make sure is you drive it in a straight line? If you don't drive in a straight line, you'll get too much wear on your PTO shaft. <sighs> uh, I'm just going to pop home for a little bit. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Pot of coffee would be nice. And some donuts. If you're bored of your job, you should write a novel. Or Jessica. learn how to do rock climbing. Or take flying lessons or something whoa, 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 whoa. Look, you're not listening to me. What? I'm going to help you. Really? Yes, but Tony isn't. Tony's an idiot. Well, I think we're all in agreement on that. 
So... Well, so it shouldn't be too hard for us to deal with an idiot, should it? Anyway, I'd better get back to that barn. We don't want him there on his own if they do appear. They can't go anywhere in daylight. What, so I don't have to go back till it gets dark? No. Well, look. Huh. Well, let's see if we can survive the whole day without donuts, shall we? Let's see if I can save that idiot brother-in-law of ours. And Jake said that a shark could eat an alligator. But I said... It's not a race, Jessica. And he said that there are saltwater alligators. Because he saw Where it in the documentary. I'll be back later. But I said that was only in the Amazon. Because the salty bits up to. of the Amazon... George? Where's everybody gone? You don't know, Tom. Ready? Ready. Five minutes. Five minutes. Mold? Mold? No. Please, no. George! George! Stand still! Oh. Jessica! Oh, oh, no. Oh. You had to make sure you came on your own. So who's that, then? Oh, dear. That's Gunge. Who's Gunge? Oh, my brother-in-law. He's next door to us. It's all right, because we don't like him. This is all going so wrong. Oh, I really should have stayed in bed this month. I've got an idea. Come on. Tompkins working late. It'll be a sight more use than you. Let him get him. Right, Sally! Be careful of him! Gun, Jeff. I've got to save him. Come on, Gun. Come out. Wait, George. We can still get him. Sorry about that, Tony. What's been happening here? Oh, my God. Keep moving. Saving you. What's going on out here? Hey, what's going on? Down the hole. Uh, quick! Oh, what's this dry cleaner doing here? Is she in the bogey hole? It's seen us! We've got... Oh! Sorry, Gunch. <clears throat> Come on, there's no time. We have to go. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye bye. Jessica. You can all get away then? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I didn't do that much. You were great. I mean, I know how important it was to you to get a job at a proper paper. 
Oh, I reckon there's been enough excitement around here lately. Where's that uh, hole then? You don't seriously think I'm going to tell you where? I think we'd better get out of here. Not costs. I don't suppose I showered myself with this stuff on purpose, dear. So you're telling me these three lizards came out and said spooky then? Well, yes, I'm, I'm just so sorry. Yes, I see, I see. Thank you so much for, for letting us know. Mom! Yes. Mom? Yes, of course. Jessica's well, coming with a bogey man! Oh, and George! Don't ask, you don't want to know. You smell really, really bad. Thanks very much, Tom. Uh, feet! Feet, George! On the floor. Oh, oh, listen. Um, that was your beloved editor. Oh, I hope you told him to take a running jump. Well, frankly, that's going to be rather difficult. Why? He uh, fell over a golf flag on the 15th hole, broke his leg in two places. Oh. Yes. Apparently. You are now the new acting editor of the Rutland Herald. Wow! 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 Hey! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Could you just hold that? No! Mum! They're back. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh, boys! Oh, I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> never see us again? Couldn't let that happen. <laughs> you smell wonderful. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, what happened? Well, I um, think we saved Boogiedom. <laughs> Even got your brother-in-law back down in one piece. <laughs> Might have to use another bogey hole from now on, but uh, I could do with a change. <laughs> and Maud? Couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you home. Oh. <laughs> and do you know what? What? I can't think of any other place I'd rather be. That's right. Come on, we'll make a big pot of cold slime yeah. and then you can tell us all about it. <laughs> and if it wasn't for me, they'd still be stuck up there now. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs>